swimmer movement pathway, specifically from a seated position on the ground. That is my preferred position to perform this movement. Um, I'm also going to show you kind of a more advanced position that you can do on the floor that's pretty fun. Um, however, if sitting on the ground is just not something for you, that you can do, uh, it's perfectly fine to do this from a seated position in a chair or even standing. I'm going to face away from you can see so you can see what my arms are doing because this is a shoulder centric exercise. Sit cross legged, sit up nice and tall. You're going to take your fists and you're going to place those fists together in your lower back or kind of at the base of your mid back. And you're going to pull those elbows back. It should really feel like it kind of opens up your chest. From here, you're going to keep those knuckles touching and you're just going to follow my lead. Simply pull the hands off the back. Keep it pulled back. I've, I've just run out of room. So at that point, I extend my elbows. And then from here, I essentially perform a shoulder car motion on both shoulders at the same time. I'm untwisting my arms, reaching all the way up over my head, trying to bring my biceps to my ears. Then I reverse the motion. I take those arms, I rotate them in as I reach back as far as I can. Keep reaching, keep reaching, keep reaching. And I've just run out of room here. I can't go back any further. At that point, I've bent at my elbows, bring my knuckles back together, back into my low back. One more now without me talking, you can just watch. Unwind. Nothing else is moving. I'm trying to keep my trunk as still as I possibly can. Rotate with this motion. It's like uh, you're about to get put into handcuffs is what I think of. So your arms get pulled back. Notice my thumbs are this way with my palms up. Close those fists. Back in the low back. That is a major burn in the shoulders. Another position you can try this from is one that I like to call the straddle sit or the v-sit position um, the position itself it actually doesn't change anything about what your shoulders are doing the position itself is just more challenging there's less even less wiggle room for your trunk to help with those shoulders so you can try this if you're feeling up to it the exact motion of the shoulders is the same you're going to put the knuckles together back behind lift the hands off the back straighten the elbows Unwind those shoulders, bring in those biceps all the way up to your ears, and then reverse it. Rotate those palms and arms back until you run out of room. Bend at the elbows, bringing those knuckles together, resting it back in the low back. If you want to try it from this position, but it's just really, really tough, uh, but you seem to be able to do it from, a, from the cross leg position just fine, one, uh, one way I have that's kind of a middle between the two is putting one hand on the floor out here in front of you and then just trying to do it one arm at a time. And then you would switch sides. With the shoulder swimmer movement, uh, it's okay if the rest of your body does shift around a little bit. You don't have to be ultra hard, rigid, absolutely nothing else can move. The, really the intent is that most of the work, the stars of the show, are going to be your, your shoulder joints and your shoulder blades. So with this one, just do your absolute best. Whatever, whatever position, seated on the floor in a chair or whatever, that you can manage. Produce the biggest range you can at your shoulders with the most control you can. And just have fun with it. This is an expression of the mobility your shoulders have. Um, and it just helps exercise greater control over the range and mobility that you already have too.